Hello, it's me slider. I see what my dog's looking at. Oh, and that's a log. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about different things. But my dogs are running ramp at the moment. We've been hiking for a while now. They're they're enjoying this walk. But I wanted to talk to you guys more on things that nobody ever talks about when it comes to hiking, especially for a woman. Um, things that I personally, oh, there's the camera, hi camera. Personally over the years, I truly wish somebody told me about. Um, <clears throat> when you go hiking, and I'm not talking like little walk in the woods like this one. I'm talking about when you got a backpack that probably weighs close to like, yeah, probably like a 50 liter. Or, well, actually a lot of girls don't. They have like 45s or 40s, you know. But um, it's really important that, especially when you have your period, which nobody wants to talk about. And sorry, this is for a women only channel right now. And I haven't grown a penis yet, so I can't really help you men. But, um, and I don't have a boyfriend at the moment. Because he's in college. So, can't really help you there. Actually, no. He just doesn't hide. <laughs> We're very opposite. We don't know why we like each other. But, um, I just want to say, when you're menstruating... The biggest struggle there is, is figuring out how to deal with it. And I say that personally, because I wear pants. That's my per personal preference. Other people might do tampons, they might like the cups. I am going to try the cotton ones, I believe they are. They're basically reusable ones. I'm excited for that new change. It'll be a cool one. It's also a difficult one because I have to figure out how to clean them while I'm hiking. And uh, we're in, right now going into winter. Technically, it's supposed to be winter now, but damn, we have a beautiful day. Well, look at this day. Sorry, you're stuck looking at me. I know I'm not that pretty. But <laughs> we, we're going into winter. I don't do overnights in winter because I only have three season gear. Um, I do hikes, I just don't do overnights. So if I'm doing a hike in, hike out, I probably would wear the organic ones that are reusable. But um, I have not tried the cup yet. And I am nervous but excited to try it because I want to get feedback. Um, I want to tell you how the menstruated cup differs from when the organic one. Which do I personally prefer? Like, which one do I personally recommend? Difficult is both ones can have their risk. Wait, what do you mean risk? Oh my god, what is that? Um, that basically means you don't clean it properly, you get an infection. You get an infection while you are on a six week hike or you're doing an AT or AP, AP or PT, PT, I don't even know that one, Pacific Trail, so PT, um, you're doing those, you get that infection, that might put you into, either you might have to go to a hospital for a few days, or you're going to stop and waste time and money at the doctor's office, getting medication and stuff for it. But it's not fun. Um, I do recommend, personally, if you are hiking and you are like, oh my, my yellow lab turned chocolate just now. He's literally covered in mud. Oh, that's why we gotta wash them. Um, you, you just gotta keep down there clean. So, 
like everyone knows, you go into the woods, you come out with it. So no garbage gets left behind. That's a universal code, which we all need to reinforce that because the idea of going hiking in the woods is to leave less of an imprint on nature and to enjoy nature. People throwing their garbage and stuff. You're abusing nature. Please don't. I like it. You like it. We all like it. So please don't do it. Um, but yeah, there is a... Definitely, as a woman, keep your shit clean. It's just more on the fact that, like... Causing less trouble in that sense. For yourself. So, stick with it. Keep it clean. Um, bras and underwear. Definitely. I will say bras too. Because, I don't know if everyone gets this, but... A lot of the athletes I've known growing up, we've all gotten this. We would get breakouts because our bras... We would put dirty bras back on. And we've all done it. You're running late. You know, you grossed up a bra, but like... It's your favorite bra. So you throw it on and then you go and then you're itchy and then eventually you get acne there. Just try and keep them clean. Try and keep almost everything you can clean, clean. Um, definitely make sure at nighttime, I personally recommend this if you're doing it overnight. I always recommend like four, if I will, but like um, a for at night, if I'm going four nights, back to back, I always make sure I have a clean pair of underwear to put on. And, and what I mean is, I bring four underwear, usually the lightweight underwear, so I'm not carrying loads of weight, but that are just meant for nighttime. And I change my underwear almost every day. Personally, it's because I sweat and I don't feel comfortable at night, so it's easier to put brand new ones on. I keep a nice set of pajamas that are only meant for nighttime. I keep also a lovely pair of socks that are meant for nighttime only. I have two pairs just in case one gets, I forget on one, but I also am not doing like ridiculous six months trial. I'm doing like maybe a week. Um, I haven't made my two week one yet. That was my next big trip. But uh, we're working here. We have a work in progress. We will get there. Yeah, you. So just stick with me. We'll figure this crap out together. Um, I would love to hear other other people's feedbacks on this I want to learn and be a better everything so but right now I am sweating really hard and I've had a big hike I'm gonna sign off because I am gonna try and wrestle these two to my car so love you guys Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped you. If it didn't, tell me what you need to work on. I'm always here to learn. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for this. And keep me involved. All right, slide her out.